Hello! In this video, we're going to have a look at DNS TTL, Time to Live Settings, okay, and how it can affect um, basically client computers connected to our server and how our server also might behave. Okay, very simply, okay, how do we get there? Okay, let's start off by going to Server Manager. We go there in Server 2016 and click on All Apps. It brings up Server Manager or in Server 2012, it's in the Start or pinned here. Okay, once we open it, we have our DNS. Click on DNS, right click on our DNS server, click for DNS Manager. Okay, and basically we might have lots and lots of zones. Choose a zone that you want to have it impacted. And then right click, properties, startup authority, and we get there. Okay, if you are constantly, shall we say, changing computers and IP addresses are constantly being released and new IP addresses are being given on a very, very rapid basis, you might want to change this from one hour to five minutes, ten minutes, a few seconds, depending on how rapid your environment changes. Okay. However, it does increase the amount of DNS traffic going on, which can take a big hit if you are having a big organization with lots and lots of computers doing lots and lots of DNS traffic. At the same time, okay, if we don't have too much changes taking place in our environment, if most of our computers are already set up and their IP addresses basically are gonna be shall we say almost static okay for a day two days half a day those kind of things you might want to increase this number okay and by changing it by shall we say making it maybe one day okay or five hours you reduce the amount of dns traffic and this can improve the general overall flow of things in certain environments. So it's definitely worth kind of like I'm playing around with this a bit. Um, the default is one hour. Okay. So give it a shot and hopefully it helps. Thank you for watching.